Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from the island. Now today, my friends, is going to be an episode of many, many first times. And most of it involves trying to make ourselves some decent kibble and also trying to make some sweet vegetable cake. There's a whole bunch of these little bits and bobs that I want to be going ahead and making so we can maximize the taming effectiveness of any eventual megatheriums, which we need to be taming in order to have a better chance at taking down the brood mother and of course we need a female rex so we can start breeding it with the male rex that we tamed in the last episode and i figured you know what i think it's high time we finally got stuck into the kibble system in this game and i am not stopping until i have some decent kibble and some sweet vegetable cake going on today so if that's the sort of thing that excites you guys if you learn a thing or two from this episode then do be sure of course to drop a like to get this video out there i'd very much appreciate it of course thank you so much for all of you guys who have been supporting the series in the form of the likes and the subscriptions lately i very much do appreciate it if you do want to go one further with your support though you can use code python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get a discount when ordering any of my ap gaming PCs. So then, we're actually going to be starting with Superior Kibble, which is the type of kibble that you go ahead and give a Megatherium to go ahead and tame it with maximum effectiveness. Now, believe it or not, we've actually got all of the things required. The only thing we don't have is Sap. Now, I have never actually made a Tree Tap Sap thingy before uh so yeah we're going to be doing that in today's episode for the first ever time and we're going to go ahead and attach it to a tree at the redwood forest and i'm hoping that it won't take overly long for some sap to come out of it i guess so uh, yeah guys we need to head on over to a smithy we need to get this thing underway and we're gonna have ourselves a good time so there it is my friends we can make three of them um Sure, we'll make three of them. Yeah, they take a hundred metal lingots apiece, but we've got easy access to metal, my friends. I don't think we need to worry about it all too much. I mean, at the very least, we should hopefully be able to get ourselves uh, triple rates, triple action with the tree sap taps. The good news is these Argentavis eggs we've been getting periodically are indeed classed as superior eggs. So, yeah, like I said, we've got just about everything we need aside from the sap. So, let's take a listen. Let's go for a ride. And here's hoping, ladies and gentlemen, for a nice trouble-free time. The reason I bring that up, of course, is because I've got a very checkered pass when it comes to the Redwood Forest. A lot of nasty dudes spawn there. So here we are, emerging out of the brush into the open here and there is the redwood forest Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen we have ourselves a redwood tree here and i'm pretty sure this is the sort of redwood tree which we cannot go ahead and chop down now there's only one way to really find out accurately if that is the case or not and that is to pop off our argentavis here we're gonna take this off we're gonna put this on and uh we're just gonna sort of hope for the best uh a tree sap thingy uh, can I? Huh. Oh! What? It's way up there? Oh, gee whiz. Alright, um... Right. <laughs> I was not expecting it... It should be that high up. God damn, that's a bit crazy, isn't it? Alright, it looks like we can place, what, maybe four? Three, maybe four tree sap taps per tree? So, uh... I mean, do, do we just sort of wait here? I don't know, but guys, check it out. We've actually got three beehives here, and a lot of you guys were saying previously that the reason I don't get stung when I'm going ahead and uh, harvesting the honey is because I've got ghillie armor on. So, yeah, the natural camouflage of ghillie armor, once again, coming into its own. Ah, hydrogens, eh? <laughs> There's only one fate that those guys deserve. Yes, yes, yes. For all of the issues that you caused me in my Lost Island series previous to this one, they deserve it. They deserve nothing but death. So here's the question, I guess. Does the sap sort of, uh, I don't know, congeal on the floor? Or do we have to somehow get up to it and harvest it from there? I honestly have no idea. Like, really? 
Seriously got no idea. Ah, so I'm looking at the wiki just to the side of me, my friends. To reach the tap for harvesting, a survivor must either stand on a dismounted quet, a tree platform, a griffin, wyvern, a ladder, mounted on some walls, or with the grappling hook. Ah, dang blast it. The annoying thing is... I actually have the grappling hook unlocked. I actually very recently did that. Uh, what about a ladder? Uh, maybe we need a rope ladder. Fiber, thatch, wood. I mean, at least we can kind of double this up, right? We can go ahead and... Oh, no snap point. Ah, jeez. Alternatively, of course, we could always go ahead and just, you know, just go for the tree platform. It requires 200 metal. Oh, man. Really? Ah, jeez. Okay, um, right. Ah, either way, this is going to be an enormous pain in the butt, isn't it? Ah, sod it. All right, I'm going back to base. I'm going to make myself a tree platform, all right? Ah, all this effort, man. I really hope that this is bleeding worth it. I truly do. <sighs> Blimey O'Reilly. Okay, I really, really, really hope that this works. I have one on me here. It weighs 90, would you believe? Right, uh, okay, it appears to only be able to be placed at one level, uh, alright, I, I guess we just sort of fly onto it, and have ourselves a good time, no? Yeah, alright, very, very cool, alright, so, uh, let's pop into here, uh, hey, look at that, we've got some sap, and would you believe it does not have a spoil timer either, very, very cool, uh, can I... Yeah, I can. I can gather the honey as well. Oh, that's so good, though. That's so good. But for some reason, only that one. This one, I think, is, like, just underneath. That's a bit sad. Anyway, there we are, my friends. We have five bee honey, nine sap. Okay, very, very good. Uh, yeah. This is the first ever time, would you believe, I've ever made a tree platform. So... Pretty cool, huh? Another first ever time for me doing something in this series and this game. So, yeah, very, very good, my friends. So, time to head on home here, my friendos. We are going to finally make ourselves some superior kibble. For those of you interested, it requires a large egg or an egg that is considered superior. So, an Argentavis egg is probably a good way to go. Uh, we need two lemons, two red mushrooms, one prime meat jerky and sap. And then some fiber and some water. And then you are good. The other sort of kibble I'd like to try to make in today's episode, if at all possible, is exceptional kibble. It requires an extra large egg, rare flowers, and a focal chili, would you believe? So, um, yeah. The reason we want to get ourselves exceptional kibble is because it will go ahead and literally insta-tame a Rex. And for us to have ourselves a good female Rex means that we have ourselves a very, very good, strong start to a breeding pair. So then, Argentavis egg required, lemons required. What else are we looking for? Rare mushrooms? Oh yeah, we've got plenty of those bad boys. Uh, prime meat jerky. There we have it. Uh, and that should just about be it. Yeah. All right, so let's put all these things in. And we're hoping for the best. I've already got fiber in here. Please? Yeah! <laughs> Beautiful. And do you want to know the interesting thing? The superior kibble is the only kibble that requires sap in its recipe. So actually, I really don't mind the fact that we're using up all of our sap right now here. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have ourselves nine superior kibble. Oh, ho, ho! Oh, that is beautiful, my friends. I'm sure you guys would agree. There we are. So we have, what, two, maybe three real-life days worth of uh, durability. And now it's 300 real-life days. Like, that could literally last almost a full real-life year. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Alrighty, my friends. So this is where things start getting a bit interesting. Because extra-large eggs, otherwise known as exceptional eggs, they drop from basilisks, brontos, gigas, megachelons... Quetzals, Rexes, Tech Rexes, Tech Quetzals, and Therizinos. The only thing is, I'm pretty sure Thelma here is actually the only female out of that menagerie of creatures. We have a male Quetz over there. Obviously, it won't lay an egg. And we have a male Rex. Obviously, it's not going to lay an egg. So, uh, at what point will Thelma go ahead and lay an egg? I don't know. Will she even lay an egg without the presence of a, a male Therizino? I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. 
Can you use fertilized eggs in the creation of kibble? Because if so, I'm actually kind of tempted to go ahead and uh, take myself a male quetzal right now. The good news is getting ourselves a breeding pair of Therizinos is actually something I need to do for the far future when we might want to consider taking down the dragon. Apparently Therizinos do more damage against the dragon or its cronies or something or other. Apparently Therizinos are the things to go for. So actually... Might be an idea for me to get that done. So, let's grab out our little uh, thingy-me-do-hickey. Where is it? We need ourselves our gun. There we are. Yeah. Get ourselves some uh, track nuts, and we shall get this party started. You know what, my friends? I think we may be on the borderline of causing ourselves problems here performance-wise. Like, while I'm here at base... Like, I am not getting the greatest amount of frames per second. I've got a pretty beefy PC. I won't lie to you guys. And we're still struggling to get good frames out of this. My immediate thinking is that maybe we go ahead and start cryopodding some of our OG animals. And just kind of hoping that that will do the job. I'm thinking though that one of the major factors for our performance loss may just be the Quetzal though. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But it could be that. Failing that, it could be the amount of creatures we have around here. Yeah, look at this, my friends. It's actually nice and buttery smooth again now that we are, you know, far away from base and the base itself, you know, the structures isn't sort of spawning in. You know, it's not within visual range, so... Yeah. Just goes to show this game punishes you performance-wise for doing well. <laughs> Ah, oh, gee whiz. That one, to be fair, is level 100, but it's female. It is the wrong gender. Oh, hey, look at that. There's an alpha raptor down there. How you doing? Oh, it's level 40. <laughs> what a bunch of poo. We are, of course, using speedy here because, I mean, it's just the best way of getting around and uh, being able to find stuff real quick, like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. Look at this speed that we got going on. <laughs> it's mighty fine, isn't it? Oh. It's a male one, but it's only level 50. Come on. Oh, hell yeah. Level 130 male. <laughs> There's only one thing to do, my friendos. Let's begin this process. Uh, ideally by, like, you know, actually being able to shoot him. Right, here we go. Hiya! Go. Get pelted, you son of a gun. Aha. Uh -huh. There we are. Another one. All right, maybe a third one before we get out of it. Uh, oh, gee whiz. Oh, man, those guys move quickly. <laughs> Come on, fellas. The old traditional back and forth. I mean, it shouldn't take too long, right? Ha! Come on. Get pelted. I missed again. How do I suck this much? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You have been outsmarted, Budski. What a dumb Therizino. Oh, oh, it got free. Oh, gee whiz, it got free. Hello? Oh, it's like, oh, hang on a minute. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, gee whiz. No, 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 he's still angry with me. I thought he was uh, running away already, eh? All right. Ha! There we are, a little bit of that. If I could get him stuck on this freaking tree branch again, that'd be hilarious. <laughs> I'm just using the environment to my advantage. Oh, no, no, mind. He figured it out. He just freaking roamed right over it. Where are you off to there, bud? Where are you off to? Huh? Huh? I thought you wanted to be friends with me. Come on, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, this is turning out to be actually quite easy. Hey, bud. Coming back over here, are we? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Oh, and he's out. <laughs> Got him. Right, these guys are herbivores, yes? Wait, oh, hang on a minute. I'm just now realizing. Could I have used superior kibble with this guy? Have I just made an enormous mistake by not bringing our superior kibble with me? Okay. Whew. Never mind. These guys take exceptional kibble, the one we do not have. If it was superior kibble and I made the mistake of not bringing it with me, I would have been pretty annoyed with myself. So, um, yeah. We can all take a nice breather, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's going to take a while. Nine more Mijo berries, but uh, yeah, it's neither here nor there. Let's just play the waiting game. I mean, this is actually a pretty docile area, to be honest, the area of the map. In fact, I remember setting up a base over at the sort of end over there at one point. Do you know what? We have Speedy here, and I've just put that guy on the taming tracker. He's hoping I can get back to base. All right, get ourselves a citronol or a carrot or potato, whatever. 
And hopefully that's going to make the taming process just a little bit faster, you know? Oh, yeah. And there we are. The performance decrease. Good Lord. <laughs> it's so freaking laggy here, bro. I'm going to turn the potatoes because why not? All right, Speedy, let's do this. Let's go ahead and get this guy tamed up. Oh, good sweet God. Let's get this guy tamed up all nice and quick like, yeah? Oh, interesting. So when you go ahead and just sort of look at the icon dead on, you can see all of the various information, including its taming effectiveness. So you can tell by the taming effectiveness if it has been, you know, harassed by creatures. Very, very handy dandy, if you ask me. All right, well, uh, yeah, we have ourselves some bits and bobs. Let's go ahead and uh, do this thing. We are going to uh, do a little bit of a swapsy here. There you go, buddy. I genuinely have no idea just how effective uh, these various crops are in terms of the taming effectiveness and uh, how much of the taming bar will be filled uh, because I don't think I've ever actually tamed a creature using anything other than media berries when it comes to herbivores. So, yeah, this should be an interesting one. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it went from roughly 20% up to 35. So roughly 14, 15% taming and that's per potato as well. So, yeah, definitely more effective than media berries are, but not by a huge margin. Uh-huh. Megalodon. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that's how you're supposed to swim. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell, man? Well, I'll tell you what, my friends. I wouldn't have wanted this taming process to go on too much longer. There's not a great deal. Hey, what was that? That was a piranha. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> There we are. We have ourselves our male Therizino. Absolutely uh, beautiful. I'm going to call this guy Thaddeus. Yeah, why not? There we have it. Level 194. It'd be beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm sure you guys would agree. So let's go ahead and uh, take him off the taming list. There we have it. And we'll put this guy uh, straight into a cryopod of epicness. So all we're going to do now is get this Therizina back to base on cryopod. See if we can't get ourselves a fertilized egg or two. And then, yeah, we're going to make ourselves some exceptional kibble. And then to finish off the episode, some sweet vegetable cake or whatever it's called. The, the cake stuff that you use to go ahead and tame the Ovis and the Akatina. I believe. The Akatina is something we might want to try and get because those guys produce cementing paste, as far as I know. And the Ovis, I'm actually genuinely not sure why you need to tame them, but apparently they're good tames to have, so... Sure, why not? Maybe just for a generic source of mutton, right? And mutton is typically considered one of the best uh, taming meats around, period. So yeah. Anyways, there we have it. We now have a breeding pair. So there we are. We've got a little bit of that going on. Ready to mate. Make sure this guy has enabled mating. And you're not doing the mating, huh? All right. Well, uh, maybe we just need to bring this guy just a little bit closer to it, huh? There we are. That did the trick. All right. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a Therizino egg. Quite possibly the first time I'm ever going to see a Therizino egg as well. There it is. Beautiful. Right, you guys can continue to produce Therizino eggs while I go ahead and figure out the kibble situation. So, of course, we have to start out with the focal chili, and I'm just in the process of getting the berries necessary. We need Amar, Tinto, Azul Berry, and Mijo Berries all in here, right? So, uh, yep, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, grab ourselves just a few more bits here. All right, just some regular cooked meat now, and then we should have this in the bag. All right, so turn on, and we're going to get ourselves focal chili, no? Hey, there it is! Nice! <laughs> hey! Oh, you love to see it, my friends, you love to see it. Right, I don't mind waiting until all of this focal chili is ready, and then once that is all done and dusted, we will make the exceptional kibble. All righty, my friends, so we need the extra large egg, which in this case is Therizino. We've got Mijo berries, rare flowers, and focal chili, and of course, fiber and water, and apparently that will all do the job. So, if all is well, uh, let's take out the citronals because we don't need them. Uh, we should have everything here. There's only one way to find out. Yeah! <laughs> First ever time getting exceptional kibble, guys. 
Oh, that has got to be an achievement within itself. Certainly something which I think deserves a like. Come on, man. We have been proper delving into the kibble side of things in today's episode. And I'm super happy that we've done this. We've got lots of superior. We're starting to get a supply of exceptional. And uh, yeah, guys, as we go ahead and get more and more of these little eggs. Oh, my good lord. Um... Uh, okay, uh, I think what we need to do is disable mating. Uh, yeah, you got a little bit too far there, bud. But uh, no matter, we're going to pop back in here and we are actually going to make even more. I mean, obviously, the more kibble we have, the better things are going to be. <laughs> so there we have it, my friends. Not only do we have a soul's basic kibble, we've got exceptional and superior. Very, very good. I'm sure you guys would agree. Right. The final element of today's episode is the sweet veggie cake. Something else I've never, ever made before. So let's go ahead and see if we can't figure out how to make it. Good grief. There's a lot. We need two giant bee honey, four sap, two carrots, two sweet corn, two potatoes, four stimulants, 25 fiber and water. That's a lot. That is a lot. I'm sure you guys would agree. <laughs> Oh, I guess first of all, what we need to do is go get ourselves some more sap. So, Speedy McSpeedy, where y'all at, buddy? I don't know where he is, actually. Oh, there he is. Hello there, bud. All right, back over to the Redwood Forest. Let's do this. Come on, sap. We need it all. All the sap. All righty, folks. Welcome back to the wooden platform Redwood Tree. Could we make ourselves a base here? We probably could, right? Oh, look at that. 15 sap. That is perfect. All right, got ourselves a bunch more honey as well. Yeah. Plenty of resources, my friends. 45 sap. That's going to do us for quite a while, I'd say. Oh, anyway, my friends, pretty sure I've got everything I need. We've got the giant bee honey. We've got all of these various other bits of bobs. There's the stimulants. We've got to do this before these things run out, which is going to be not too long from now, my friendos. Uh, right, actually turn on. Right, there you have it. Right. Uh, sweet veggie cake, yes? Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, hey! Hey! There, very cool. There we are. There's five... Uh, how many are we actually going to be able to get? That is the question, isn't it? Uh, have we just run out? I think we just run out. Wow. What did we run out of? Oh, we ran out of fiber. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We can sort that. We can sort that. Give me, give me the fibers. All the fibers now belong to me. Oh, jeez. Come on, quickly, before we run out of freaking, uh, spoil timer here. There we are. Yeah, Okay. Okay, we got a good amount of sweet vegetable cake, and I'm feeling pretty good about that. So, yeah, sap was actually the limiting resource. So, uh, the rest of it, I guess, is going to go back away, my friends, including the sweet vegetable cake, of which we have 11. Very, very good, my friends. Very, very good. So, there we have it, my friends. I've got all of the stuff that I wanted to get done in today's episode done. We have exceptional kibble. We have superior kibble. We have vegetable cake. There we have it. So all that's left to do now, my friends, of course, is to do the comment of the day and then wrap up the episode. Let's get this done, shall we? Oh my god! So this is the reason we've got such enormous bleeding lag! What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh god. It's Penguin Armageddon. Penguin Eden. <laughs> <I've> <laughs> oh god. Um guys, that is why you must keep an eye on whether or not your dudes are able to breed or not. <laughs> God. So here we are, my friends. I'll deal with that penguin situation after this episode's done. I'm sure you guys don't need to see me, uh, you know, committing mass penguin genocide. Um, so yeah, we're going to do the comments of the day and wrap up. Anti Gemusu says, why don't you make an artifact room and decorate it with the obtained artifacts on artifact pedestals? That is a fantastic idea. I mean, at the end of the day, we have quite a lot of artifacts and many duplicate artifacts, more to the point. So, if we get to the point of, uh, well, you know, having all of the bosses taken down and all of the different difficulties of bosses taken down, then, uh, yeah, sure. Either that, or I just go back into the caves and just try to get myself even more and then just sort of dedicate one to each of the artifact pedestals in the eventual room. 
What do you guys think, huh? I think it's a fantastic idea to have them all on pedestals, though. I think that's lovely. So thank you so much for that suggestion there, buddy. For now, though, it is time to wrap up. Thank you guys very much for watching this very laggy episode here at the end. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure, of course, to drop a like. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Hope you learned a thing or two from today's episode. If not, then I hope you have enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.